Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Thank you for allowing me into your space. Um, I talk about a lot of different subjects. So if it's the first time you're passing through, you can click the thumbs up button, the thumbs down button. You can share if you think what I'm saying is interesting. And you can subscribe if you want to listen to more of what I do. Now, this video is about um, whether or not makeup, whether women or women deliberately put on makeup to deceive men. Now, in the 1770s, there was actually an act, so they say, called the Heels, what's it called? The Hoops and Heels Act. And apparently, I'm going to read it out to you. Um, You'll find references to a law passed by England in 1770 that made it legal for a man to divorce his wife if she tricked him into marriage using witchcraft, such as makeup, to enhance her looks, called the Hoops and Heels Act. It stated that any woman who tried to seduce and betray, her, and betray into matrimony a man using scents, paints, cosmetic washes, artificial teeth, false hair, Spanish wool, iron stays, hoops, high-heeled shoes or bolstered hips and would be tried for witchcraft and have their marriage voided, annulled, if found guilty. Apparently that law didn't even come into place but you'll still find people referring to it as though it did. Um, 300 years later and newspapers are printing the same stories. At the end of 2015 and 2016, two similar accounts hit the news, republished in outlets from the Emirates, women to St. Clair. In the first, an Algerian man woke up in the morning after his wedding, horrified at the sight of his wife's bare face, fearing a thief had broken into the apartment. What a load of rubbish! He felt betrayed at the discovery that she was not as beautiful as she had looked before the wedding and immediately divorced and sued her for 20,000, citing psychological suffering. It's like some of those videos that go around and these, these men are taking the mick out of women who take their, their weave or their wig off and they've got a scarf but they don't know who that person is. What a load of rubbish. You can't, I mean, to be honest, I can understand if it's a situation like this. Let me show you. Now, I'm using a Chinese woman this time because I think her, hers is very, very dramatic. Um, the volume, you don't really need to volume. You just need to see what she's doing. Now she's taking it all off and look how she look. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so maybe that's what the Algerian woke up to see. I don't know. But um, there's also um, one more that I'd like to show you. This is a black woman. Um, hold on one sec. I just want to... Well, these are a series of black women, actually. I'm not going to play the music, otherwise they won't show it. So it's from a Nolly Grio website. Awesome. Makeup is the new witchcraft. Hold on, you just missed that one. You've got to see this one.
Now that one is dread, isn't it? That one's not bad. She doesn't look that different. But I think that's what they're talking about. I just want to run that by you. <clears throat> but who's deceiving who? That's what I want to talk about. Is makeup just meant to enhance? Is it a form of expression? Is it a form of creativity? I mean, some men, like they were saying in that 1770s law, they believe that women do it to trick them. But what about when men trick women when they try to get to know them? Some of them say they've got a job when they haven't. They make out like, oh, I've got a job, I'll do this, I'll do that. Two, two weeks down the line, oh, I lost a job, you know, something happened, you know, I had a job again. Sorry about that. Then they'll say, oh, they've got a car. Then you'll see them about three weeks later once, you know, once they've got you around their fingers, maybe three weeks, four weeks, however long it takes, two months. Two, two, she'll say, boy, I'm not sell the car, you know. I'm not sell the car, it was giving me trouble. At the time, it's a brand new car, you know. It's rent them, rent it. Some of them say, oh, you know, I just broke up with my girlfriend and I'm moving in with my mother. That time, them, they were their mother all the time. Some of them will say, oh, I've got, I've only got two kids, you know, two twos down the line. One comes out, you know, one, one comes out here, one's revealed here, one's revealed there. Then they say, oh, well, I didn't know about that one. Oh, I'm not sure if that one's mine. What about those ones that say, oh, I'm not dealing with anyone. I'm not dealing with anyone. Two twos, they, you know, two twos, once you're in the relationship, hear them. Oh, I've got to go and see my baby mother. She says there's something wrong with the kids. So they trick you. So I don't see what the big deal is, is when they're talking about makeup. At least makeup is just a physical thing. They're not telling lies in the same way. And to be honest, men should know by now that women make makeup, wear makeup, and it should, and it shouldn't be too much of a surprise. It's different, like with some of those pictures I just showed you. Those are really extreme. I don't think the average John Joe is going to be caking it on like that. I mean, you do have people caking it on. You know, they've got forms of acne, they've got some skin disorders, so they put on primer and then they put on concealer and then they put on foundation and then they put on powder and then they put on bronzer and then they, then they put highlighter and then they put sculpture. And by the time you look, they look totally different. And it's true, they do look totally different, but it's not to entrap. It's because it makes them feel good. So if a man sees them and they look like that, that's not their problem. A man should be less superficial. He should be talking to her because, you know, when he's talking to her and he gets to like her, it should be because of her personality. Her looks are a bonus. But somebody's man, you know why they feel vexed? Because they go show off to them brethren. Oh, boy, I'm a pull a beautiful girl, you know, you want to see her. She's nice as a man. Start bossing them when they're, especially when they're in a party situation, when you see them, I look upon them, man them, and them, I look and them, I smile at them, man them, as if to say, Why, look what I've got, look what me managed for catch. And when they take, <laughs> when they take it, and then wake up in the morning is a different story. And they feel shame and embarrassed. But the thing is, the fact of the matter is, is that. If you like a woman, you like a woman. You can't expect a woman to go out like a plain Jane. Because like, like wigs and hair, makeup is an accessory. It's there to adorn. And it's been in time memorial from biblical times. Women would adorn and put makeup on. And, you know, make themselves beautiful. So it's not our fault if you fall for us with our makeup on and then you're disappointed or feel betrayed when we don't look like how you think we're going to look all i can suggest is that you imagine the worst case scenario like my like some people say then fear of a duppy just imagine the worst case scenario and then enhance it a little bit and then you won't be disappointed <laughs> That's all I can say, but to be honest though, in all seriousness, women don't do it to trick you. They do it to enhance themselves, um, they do it to make them feel 
good, you know, not necessarily because they're not happy with their looks. But you know what is a bit of a problem? Because now, when you've got face app, you can look really young in it. And then you also have apps that beautify photographs. So now when people are putting up photographs, they don't look like they're enhanced photographs. So people um, are becoming discontent with how they look naturally. That's the only problem, because if they see themselves unbeautified, so to speak, or not made, you know, not an accurate representation, they won't upload that photograph. They have to be enhancing it and beautifying it and putting which level they want it beautified. And when you cannot put up a natural photograph, then there's a problem. Because we shouldn't always have to beautify photographs in order to publish them. We should be able to feel comfortable enough with ourselves to put up a photograph that is natural. So that might have, I don't even know if that is a self-esteem issue. I don't even think it is. I think it's just nice playing around with photographs, making yourself look good, making yourself look like how you believe you look. Sometimes you don't even know if it's a camera telling lies. Sometimes you can take a photograph and the camera's telling lies. You don't really look like that. You look better than that. So if it beautifies you a little bit, so what? But some people have an issue with that. Why she look different in other photograph or not? She look different. She don't look the same. And I see that. And that's how it is sometimes. You know, people look different. When men, um, men are even enhancing their photographs now. What happens when a man is bald and then he has a hat on and he looks pretty cool, you know, him have on him hat. You don't know he's bald because it's one of those hats that covers all the way down here. I mean, baldness is fashionable. Let's not talk about baldness. Let's talk about receding then. A man is receding and then he's put on. So it looks, and you know, especially those ones that have it kind of long. Some of them men have them locks all the way down here and all the top is bald. Have you ever seen them? Or stringy, stringy. Some men do that and then they stick a hat on it to make it look like them, they have a full head of hair and they don't. Isn't that deception? And they're talking about in that 1770s act about false teeth. They're, they're considering that deception under the 1770s hoops and heel law. So what happens if you meet a man and you believe, say, him have some pretty teeth, you know, you could tell your mother, boy, we find a man, him have some pretty teeth. And then after a couple of months, you see him take them out and put them on the side. What then? Is that deception? It's the same bloody thing. You take out your teeth and you take off your hat and you take off your belly bun and all the fat falls over the edge. What difference? What's the difference between that and a... A woman wearing makeup. I have seen some extreme um, images or videos with these women have whole heap of stacks of fat and they manage to put it into this belly bun. I don't know how they do that. I don't even think it's real to be honest. But yeah, that could be quite disappointing. You think you've got a woman with a nice figure, you take her home and once you take off the belly bun, the whole rolls of fat fall over. What do you do? Is it her personality that's important? Is it her character? What were you in chat? What were you, what were you attracted to? Or were you just attracted to her looks and her beautiful hourglass figure? You see, the world is full of deception in all its different forms. And I guess you just have to wave the flag and say we're just even. Because that is what we are really. We're even. You hide your bits and you tell lies about your circumstances to enhance your character. And women wear makeup to enhance their beauty. So I think lies are worse. I think when a man tell, comes, when you meet a man in a dance and telling you him up this and him up that, and then they've got the nerve to say, why is you only want me for what me have? Once we tell her, say, I mean, have a job, she don't want me. Why the hell would she want you? You've lied to her. You know what I mean? And it's got nothing to do with you not having a job. If she met you and you didn't have a job, so what? 
But the fact of the matter is, is that you've lied and you've made her feel as though you're in a certain situation when you're not. That is the problem. When you're telling her that you've got your own place and then all of a sudden, a few weeks later, why the beer leave them coming on? That me can't get in my house. The beer, me, t- me feel so the landlord. You know, pay the mortgage. The mortgage. You know, it's a mortgage, you know. The mortgage. You know, pay the mortgage, you know. And me can't get in my house. I don't know what happened. That time, not no so you know. Nothing don't go so. So, they do, they tell you anything to to get you. And I'm not even talking about sex, because sex, that's a bit old-fashioned now. A lot of women used to say, boy, he's only trying to sweep me up to get sex. It's not just sex. It's got to do with getting you. And if anything, it's the other way around. It's not women trying to get stuff from men. It's men trying to get stuff from women. So it's the other way around. So I don't, I don't, I don't kind of, I've got nothing to say about women and makeup, to be honest. Because like I said, it's, it's an accessory. It's there to enhance. If a man wants to pull a woman and punch above his weight thinking she's beautiful when he ain't all that, that's his problem. Some of them, they ain't even all that. And then they're put, pulling and pretty, pretty, pretty girl, you know, or who they think is pretty. And they don't look like nothing. And they're the ones that get disappointed when the woman look like them, when they take off the makeup. That is the problem. Anyway, I think I've covered most of the stuff I wanted to. And yeah, your comments would be appreciated. Take care now. Bye bye.